Hi, this is Soulgazer. So today I got a new package in. It's a new model that they released a little while ago and they didn't have it in store so I had to get it online. And it's the Future Pacer, size 11, AQ907. I believe this was 170. And this is a model that I was looking forward to and it's sitting everywhere so they might go on sale soon. And here it is. In person, they look pretty chunky. Um, they're not the sleek look that, let's say, Ultra Boost or um, NMD has. It does have Ultra Boost. Uh, it does have Boost here. So this is size 11, which is my standard size. And as far as the chunkiness goes, they do look similar to Young One. They are pretty chunky, thick so, and plush upper. So I don't think these are leather, but they are soft. And this upper part, this part, feels pretty chunky. I like the way that it looks. And have these micro pacer which is the original design that they use this from um, they changed it up the name to future pacer when they did this remake so the designs are not bad I like this colorway I like the contrast purple and I also like the fabric and I think the old one had like a little watch thing here but because we don't need it anymore it's just a design with layer of leather or fabric embossed adidas adidas original trefoils and little detailing right here with one extra fabric i think this is one unnecessary as far as the function goes, but it's a nice detail touch. And zigzag stitch to connect the tongue part. And it's a velcro, which is great. And pull tab right here, it goes in. So it might hit your uh, leg a little bit, your ankle area. So it might bother you and you might need a higher socks to prevent from hurting so be careful on that zigzag stitch here same thing throughout i do like this zigzag stitch uh, i like the width not too narrow it's just enough to give extra detailing touch just like the front And I think this is also a neoporn type of thing. I don't think they're leather. I don't think any of them are leather. And like I showed you earlier, this is RN6000 new. Uh, there's a Japanese word on the bottom saying micro pacer. And a piece here. So they have lace, full lace, and yuck, what is this? So this leather or whatever this fabric is right here, it's cracking. I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that. This is like paper right here. Hmm. This is a, I think this is a design flaw. It's so crappy here. But I guess it's all right. And there's Velcro all the way. And there's the other side to connect. And I didn't know before I bought this, there's a little pink contrasting piece right by the tongue. It's off-centered, I think, yeah. It's slightly off-centered, towards center, uh, towards the center of the body. 
a little bit longer on the outer side, a little bit less on the inner side. And three stitches, zigzag stitch for extra detail. Not bad. And the lace is matching as the upper. There's nothing on the tip. They could have used something nicer on the laces, but it's all right. And on the inside, there's Adidas in pink. Let's see what it says on the other side. Same thing, nothing much. So with the midsole and the outsole, here's how it looks. So they have these blocks right here, almost like an ND. So this part, there's blocking a rubber piece. And between, there's the boost right here too. And right here, this is the, the missile without the boost showing, or the inner side, there's a boost. And it goes back and forth. What's the also? This is how it looks. It kind of reminds me of a cheaper version of NMD. The rubber is a little bit harder. It feels more like the the other models that I did review recently, like Debrupt or Swift Runner. Um, it feels like that. It's not a continental rubber. So it's a little bit stiffer. And I'm not sure if it's bluesed all over. I just tried this on and on the back part it feels great it feels like I have boost but certain areas on the front section I think it's right here this area there might not be a boost so this part feels a little bit more stiff when you're walking but overall it's not bad it does look heavy in a way I thought it would be a little bit heavier but it worked fine but let's compare how light these are it's 14.4 ounce young one or that's future pacer this is young this is young one 12.7 so this is actually lighter than future pacer and ultra boost it's used but it's 12 ounce actually Yeah. So this is the heaviest out of all three. But I don't feel the weight at all. It's not bad for amount of fabric that they use. And as far as the comfort goes, it's not bad. I do like this fit. If it's true to size, I don't think you need to size down or size up. It's pretty forgiving too because it has a lace and an open tongue. So this one you could loosen up pretty well. So you could go true size or if you want to go size half size down, you could do that too. But for me, it works as true to size. The comfort wise, I'll give maybe seven for now, eight. Um, I don't know how I feel when I start walking a long distance so maybe it'll change but as far as this five ten minutes of wearing this it's not bad so eight eight and a half maybe so let's see how it goes and i'll be wearing this quite a bit for the next month or so and i'll be doing a follow-up video on how it actually fits and how it performs anyways thanks for watching Oh, by the way, um, let me know if you have purchased this and if you have been wearing it, let me know in the comment below if you like it or not. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as liking the video. Thanks for the support and see you next time.